rebounds from Minnesota, Rick Rude. Here on Mid-South Wrestling, it's going to be Rick Rude against Hacksaw Butch Reed. And, Bill, I tell you, the people are still buzzing. There's been, I have never seen so much excitement and so many ex unbelievable things happen in one television program as we've seen here today. Well, Grizzly Smith has, has tried out a lot of new referees, a lot of new faces in every position. And some of these youngsters, they're just getting out of position for these veterans out there. These guys are going to take advantage of them. No different than the National Basketball Association when they had the referees strike. And uh, the referees were doing as good a job as they could. But the, the old veterans weren't there. And so on the off-court side, many times there was guys getting knocked cold, badly fouled. And, the, and on the films, you could see it back and everything else. But, you know, you couldn't fault the referees. They were doing as good as they could do. This is these youngsters. are just, like I say, my son Joel out there. Right now, he's doing his best. But, you know, you can't expect these guys to go out and physically handle these guys. Look at the size of Reed. He's a monster. And that Rick Rude is a tough kid. He's a double tough kid. He's just an inexperienced guy. And this is how you get that experience. You get those lumps. It's a school of hard knocks. And Reed is certainly uh, loves to be the tutor as far as that's concerned. He is, a, he is one of the toughest men that has ever been in the square circle anywhere in the country. And uh, he's got some tremendous scores to settle, of course, namely with Jim the Anvil Neidhart at this point in time. Well, we've seen what the Russian and uh, Volkov and Darso, what they've done when they've, they've ganged up on Dog, what they've done when they've ganged up on, on Hacksaw Dugan. So we just, Dr. Death just got a taste of it, you know, and Doc has been a tremendous athlete, probably been the top rookie in professional wrestling in some time, but he's only been wrestling professional a little over, a little less than a year. And it just is tough when you're up against these guys in any sport. We've got three minutes of air time left. Well, Rude's fighting back. This Rick Rude, I want to tell you, mark my words, this youngster is going to be tough. He's got a lot of heart and a lot of guts. He wants to try these tough guys. He's asked Grizzly for these matches. He's six foot five. He's in shape, strong, but he's against a double tough one. Butch Reed looks like Butch Reed slipped on that substance still out there, whatever it was, where it tripped with all those feathers. And Rick Rude has taken advantage of every second of it. And Reed is, Reed is out. Reed's out on the floor. He's in a lot of pain. I saw Butch Reed, I want to tell you, is, one of, is a double tough man inside, a good friend of mine, Dr. C. Anderson, I think the best chiropractor in the world, told me that Butch Reed's knee, most men couldn't even walk, and Reed just keeps on going. And I'll guarantee you, you can't take it away from Butch Reed. He was an All-American in college at Northeastern Oklahoma A&M and Central Missouri State, and he was a professional football player at the Kansas City Chiefs, power lifter, and he's got guts, and he can go with pain, and that's what the true pros can do. That's the difference. They pay the price. And you know, Bill, he played linebacker, and that you know it takes a special that's breed right. to play linebacker. I right. guarantee. John you. Madden says they got those linebacker eyes, and he's got them. Next week, Nature Boy Buddy Landell, Masao. Also, we're trying to get a new team, brand new team. Grizzly Smith is trying to sign the Rock and Roll Express. We hope to have some footage on them next week. I don't know what else to tell you because I think Grizzly Smith's going to be scrambling after the events that have happened here today. There could be a lot of exciting action next week right here on TV. Butch Reed powering into a front face lock. I don't know what action Mid-South will take when they study the film of what happened with this, this symbolic tar and feathering, this, this chickening or whatever you call it. I don't know what all happened. One minute air time left. Well, Reed has really got that front face lock, Bill. He's got it locked in on, on Rick Rude. Reed, tremendous strength. There's no, you know, you talk about upper body and lower body strength. He's got it all. we got less than a minute of air time left. Rick Rude is hanging on. Rick Rude, because if he gets a time limit draw with Axel Butch Reed, it could be the biggest victory of his career. Closing moments here. Butch Reed is getting frustrated and trying to put it away. Oh, Butch Reed just sidestepped him. Butch Reed sidestepped him less than 30 seconds left. I don't think Butch Reed's going to have time to put him away, but he liked it. It decapitated him right there. He sidestepped him, and Rick Rude's throat hit those steel cables. Now Reed just power slams him with all that power. We've got very few little time left. Reed is definitely in control, but he may be wanting to punish the man so much. One, two, three. He got it in. 